Knowing how to code is the closest you can get to being a magician in the real world. Technology is everywhere and learning to code is one of the most valuable and useful things that you can do. In your professional life, even as a fresher, having programming knowledge will open new high paying opportunities and help you launch a great career. Now you must be wondering, I'm a beginner and I don't know how to write even a single line of code. Where do I start and what languages do I start with in order to land a high paying IT job? Well, don't worry, we have got you covered. In this video, we will tell you which top programming languages you can pick from to help you land a high paying IT job in 2019. The best way to pick the best programming languages is by listening to the IT industry. The industry will tell you what the programming languages are trending and what will stay on for the future. Based on these trends and with advice from the larger developer community, here are the top 5 programming languages to learn in 2019. Number 1. Java Java is over 20 years old, but it's alive and well. It is as relevant as ever. Most employers today are looking for full stack developers and a Java based full stack developer is the most in demand. Java has significant advantages over other languages and environments that make it suitable for just about any programming task. It has led to over 70,000 job opportunities in the IT sector in 2018. The average pay for an entry level Java full stack developer is CDC rupees 6.91 lakhs per annum. It is used by millions of developers and billions of devices worldwide due to its ability to run on any hardware and operating system. All Android apps are based on Java and 90% of Fortune 500 companies use Java for backend development. Java is platform independent. One of the most significant advantages of Java is its ability to move easily from one computer system to another. Because of Java's robustness, ease of use, cross-platform capabilities and security features, it has become the language of choice for creating a wide variety of web apps, mobile apps and software. Looking for a high paying entry level IT job opportunity, Java would be the programming language of your choice. Number 2. Python Python can be a starting point into programming domain simply because the language is quite similar to English. For people aspiring to become software developers, learning this language will help you adapt easily in other environments. Python has many standard libraries and it also executes basic tasks with less code, making it a compact and economical language to learn. Python code is often 5 to 10 times shorter than C++ for example. One could also be reasonably proficient in Python in less than 2 months. Also, it pays to learn Python as it finds its applications in data science, machine learning, artificial intelligence, etc. You should definitely start learning this language if you want to start your career in data science and associated fields. Alright, what's next in this list? This one is kind of hard. This is where it gets a little more difficult to pick number 3 here. Now, based on the survey data, we have to go with JavaScript. JavaScript is different from Java by the way and JavaScript is known as the grandfather of programming languages. It is roughly as popular today as it was when it was first introduced. Well that's no surprise to us. JavaScript is used by over 80% of developers and by 95% of all websites for any dynamic logic on their pages. Several front-end frameworks for JavaScript such as React and AngularJS have huge future potential as internet of things and mobile devices become more and more popular. So we doubt that you'll see JavaScript drop in popularity anytime soon. If you're looking to become a software developer today, a web developer, you're pretty much going to be using JavaScript. If you're thinking about learning a new programming language and you're into web development, then you're probably going to find a job if you know JavaScript. We can argue to say that JavaScript alone is sort of like SQL, that it's not enough. But JavaScript generated almost 90,000 jobs in the last two years alone, which makes it a compelling addition to your arsenal. Number four, C Sharp. 
C Sharp is a very versatile language. Plus, it's a very corporate language as well. People who have equipped themselves with C Sharp have fewer number of opportunities, job opportunities, compared to other languages, but they are usually paid a tad more. This is because of the very limited number of highly skilled c -sharp developers in the industry compared to Java developers and other developers. There are a lot of resources from which you can pick the language, but then there's a catch. It's not as easy as Java. Next one on this list is one that's going to surprise you perhaps. It's PHP. Most of the major companies, Facebook and Twitter, started out with PHP, but unfortunately, PHP has run its course. You could still consider picking it up for the following reasons. It's really easy and quick to learn and to prototype and to get stuff done. That's why it's still around. If you are thinking about potentially becoming a freelancer or doing some kind of freelance work, make a few WordPress plugins. Then it's a great language to learn. If you learn PHP, you're always going to have a job. It's going to open up a whole wide world of more freelancing jobs because a lot of people that just have a WordPress site will need custom PHP work to be done on their site. Again, it's probably not the most in-demand language, but a good one to learn and a good one to make some money. Well, that concludes the battle royale of programming languages. By now, you would have some idea of which language to start with. So explore that language further and open up amazing opportunities for yourself in the IT industry. By the way, do you want to know how to land an IT job with 5 lakh CTC or more that too in just 6 months? No, your background doesn't matter. You could be a fresher or an experienced person. You could have good grades or bad. You could be from a CSIT branch or mechanical branch. Regardless of your background, if you are serious about getting a good job in the IT industry, then we can tell you how. Book a friendly chat with our career counsellors by filling in the form given in the description below. Also, to get access to more videos like this and free live classes that we conduct, subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon.